Hey Weekend Gamer, it's Lara Berman here with Miss Horror Fest 2007. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. Now tell us, what does it mean to be Miss Horror Fest? Well, basically, as Miss Horror Fest, I represent F After Dark Films, the eight films to die for, and I go to all the conventions and promote the movies, and I reign for a year until they choose the next one for next year. Well, you certainly do a good job, I'm telling you. We walked in here, there's a lot to look at, but you can't miss you. How is this outfit? Is it comfortable? Um, no, of course not. <laughs> it's constricting, and it's supposed to look uncomfortable. That's The more uncomfortable, the more, the more uh, amazing it looks. So. It does. You look like a superhero. Is that what people tell you? Actually, no. Uh, they actually ask for discipline, which <laughs> it's just a name, okay? I'm not a mistress. So, yeah, not, 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 a, not a costume, though, kind of, but I do, I do actually go out and stuff like this because it's not really an act. It's, I really do dress like this. You know what? If I could dress like that, I totally would, too. Why not? So tell us, what are After Dark Films? After Dark Films um, is a movie company that they've actually been picking up independent films put out by unknown people that would normally not be able to get their amazing scripts, you know, ideas for horror movies made. So After Dark Films picks up these movies um, and they make them available to the public. They're in theaters for about a week, once a year, and then they'll be available on DVD March the 18th. And you can learn more about that at horrorfestonline.com. Very cool. Now, I know in just this year alone, eight films are coming out. Which one's your favorite? Like, if we can go check one out, which one would you recommend? I would recommend my personal favorite. I'm kind of more into the campy horror, like, funny kind of stuff. Uh, my favorite ones out of the this year's eight films to die for would probably have to be Nightmare Man. Nightmare Man's definitely, and then uh, Mulberry Street is really good, too. What is it about those that, that you like? Um, I like the Mulberry Street because it's kind of a different take on a zombie movie. It's not really zombies. It's more um, rats uh, have this virus and they're infecting the humans and everything just kind of goes downhill from there and it's crazy madness. And um, the Nightmare Man is actually about this woman who purchases a fertility mask, only it's not exactly what she thought it was going to be and she thinks that somebody called the Nightmare Man is actually trying to kill her. And uh, it's kind of humorous, it's campy, it's, if you like that kind of stuff, that's definitely the movie for you. Well, it's cool because you're right, like I haven't heard that story before and that's right. the opportunity that After Dark Films provides, correct? Exactly. That's, uh, they they want to find something new and different and that's what these films are about. Awesome. What's been the most exciting part about Wizard World so far this year? I am really amazed that people are just like so taken aback by my hair. I mean, it's a mohawk. It's very 80s. I love it personally. I did it because I was tired of looking like everyone else. Well, now I look like everyone that has a mohawk, but <laughs> um, I like it. Uh, a lot of people ask me, how do you keep it up? What are you using? It's just hairspray. Wow. Yeah. And time. <laughs> well, you know what? You really pull it off. I think that if you have anything to do with it, the 80s might be on their way back. It is. I think so. I've got fishnets, leopard print. You know, all I need is like the lace Madonna gloves and I'll be ready to go. All right. Well, sounds good. Thanks so much for talking with us. Thank Enjoy you. the rest of your reign. I will. <laughs> oh, one last thing. Oh. What is, sorry, what is your game? We're the weekend gamer. We want to know what do you do when you're not working? What's your game, your hobby? Oh, man. Um... Gosh, what's my hobby? Actually, my hobby right now is making my YouTube videos. At first, I was like, I don't know how to do this, and I finally figured it out. I know how to edit and do all that, so I have all my YouTube videos that are up, and I spend a lot of time doing those. I actually have like 30-something videos up now. So you can see those at youtube.com slash maliciouspain. Malicious pain. Now, that may give us a clue, but what are your videos about? Are they also horror films? No, they're not horror films. Um, the purpose of the YouTube films that I put out is pretty much for fans and just people to get kind of get to know me per, on a more personal level. So I, um, it's not horror stuff like that. It's more me every day doing stuff, going to the Walmart, you know, things like that. So let me ask you one last question. How did you choose the name Malicious Pain? Um, well, I couldn't use Mistress Malice as it because somebody else that actually is a dominatrix is named Mistress Malice. So I had to just kind of make something else that sounded mistressy and painful. So <laughs> the word malicious is pretty bad and pain. That's how I, I just made it up. Sounds good to me. All right, thanks so much. Thank you. That's the Weekend Gamer with Miss Horror Fest 2007. 
Hi, I'm Miss Horrorfest 2007 Mistress Malice and you are watching The Weekend Gamer.